What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? It's your big partner, man. Cartoon One from East Side Avalon. Gangsters. I'm back again, man. The Village Storyteller. As you can tell from uh, from the title, it's about one of my partners who uh, didn't want to listen to me. Um, it's, it, it, hey, it, it, it's funny, but it ain't funny. You know, sometimes a hard head got to make a soft behind. And that's what... That's what really, that's what happened with this story, y'all. Um, we're in a prison, uh, West Jefferson, maximum security prison, Alabama. And so, uh, anyway, you know, in this day and age, a lot of dudes, man, get strung out. They get strung out or they strung out on them drugs, on that dope, man. They get strung out bad, man. They get strung out real bad. And um, this is about a cat, you know, well, well first off, even though some of them strung out, you know some you know some of them killers that done got strung out, they still killers. They still bought their grits and gravy, but they just got to have that dope in them. Now you got some that done went all the way hobo bad, and um uh, just ain't got ain't got nothing left in them no more. Ain't ain't no more gas in the tank. They done laid down. You pretty much can do say whatever you want to do say with them. But now you know you got one or two of them still be running around. <laughs> that uh still had a little gas in the tank. You know what I'm saying? They just had a thing for that dope. Uh, okay, and this is a story about one of them type. Um, I'm sitting in the cell one day. I'm sitting in the cell one day. Now you got you got those in the prison who selling drugs, and you got those in the prison who using drugs. Fine. Okay. You got some you got those in the prison who ain't selling or using. Cool. Okay. So now one day, man, I'm sitting in the cell and um, I can't really recall what I was doing. I don't really recall what I was doing, but uh, I know a knock at the door came. Boom, 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 boom. So when a knock at the door came, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Come on in. So um, one of my uh, one of my little crip homeboys, one of my crip partners, uh, Big Tyson out of Huntsville. He um he came in. Now Big Tice was bigger. Me and Tice, you know what I'm saying? He, he we was about the same size. Well, he's a little bit smaller than me, but he's a big old dude though. You know what I'm saying? Homie was down for you know he was down for his crown. Had them two big old crip fingers on his chest. He had a nice tattoo I like on his chest. Boom. Had the two had the two hands making two big C's on his chest. Now now now, now, now the homie was something else. The homie the homie was good with his hands. He was a boxer. He was on the street. He was uh he used to get in the ring. You know, I had, had a nice box career on the street, kind of messes messes career off. You know, you know, running with the gang and you know doing um doing crime or whatever. End up getting locked up, come to prison. But like I say, he was deep, deep down for the Crips. So um, every day the homie would come out. He would take like a mattress, a whole mattress. We had these big poles in the middle of the floor. You know, two three spots in the floor had these big poles. Now what he would do? He cut strips of sheets and stuff. And blankets, and he would put the uh, he would take homies would hold the mattress up, and he would wrap the the, the uh, mattress around these poles, and he would take the strips of sheets and blanket, he would tie it around and tie it real real tight so it'll stay there, and um you know he prop like little like like little chairs and stuff up under so the mattress wouldn't slide down the pole and hit the floor, so now. Then he'd make his own, he had his own boxing glove he would make, you know, little pad he made, cut out, sold up, had sold up and made. They fit his hands real good. And um, he would sit there, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? He would get at, he would get at that, he would get at that mattress, homie. It was like a uh like a punching bag. You know, every now and then, you know, I, I would go over there with him, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? We check it out, check it out, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? He knew I was good with my hands too. You know what I'm saying? I told him, I said, yeah, homie, I did that thing too back in Cali. So, you know, boom, every day, we, you know, not me, but him, but now, but he, he was religious with it every day. Bing, 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 he with it, bing. So, you know, I'm telling, I'm like, yeah, homie, you know, boom. So, like, you know how that is. Prison is a fishbowl. People going, everybody going to see what's going on. You know, people watching. So, of course, this is intimidating to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They looking at this dude's size. You know, the homie was about six feet even. Had to weigh every bit about 240, you know what I'm saying? Cut up, swole, you know what I'm saying? And he beating on this mattress. Now, people done seen him demonstrate, too. On a couple of, you know, a couple of times he had an altercation. I'm talking about was bad. Man, look, I'm talking about 
will dis you know will disfigure you, do you bad. You know what I'm saying? Homie, you know, homie was you know. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, so people know this. Now, like I say, it intimidates some people. Now that type of get down, it didn't intimidate everybody. Like I say, you know, we in prison. You got you know you got all types of walks and lives up in here. You got some gangsters don't care nothing about none of that. Well, eat that. Come on with more of it. You know what I'm saying? Where the dessert? Like I say, you got all types in prison. You got scary ones. You got gangsters. You got, you know, you got all types. So anyway, um, he would do this all the time. So for the most part, a lot of people stayed out the homie way. Then, like I say, plus he was a crib. You know what I'm saying? At this time, we deep. And we come, we come in like Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. So, boom. Uh... He knocked at the door. He knocked at the door. He came on there. I'm like, cuz, what's up, homie? He like, man, big low, big tune, cuz, what's up, homie? He said, man, I gotta holler at you. I'm like, cuz, what's up, homie? What, what, what's going down? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the game good. He like, oh, yeah, the game good. He say, homie, but uh, I just went over there and I just checked this fool, Rockefeller. So now when he say the name, now I hear the name. Now Rockefeller is one of these cats who, uh, who, you know, kind of down bad on this dope right about now. But now Rockefeller's a killer in his own right. He one of them ones that, uh, even though, you know, he, he craving this dope, he want it. He still not to be played with, period, on no level. I've been doing a lot of time with Rockefeller. Rockefeller was from... Uh oh shoot. If I'm not mistaken, Rockefeller was oh, I uh, I think he was from Dothan, Alabama. Uh he was he, he was either he was G D or he was B G D. I think Rockefeller still pushed B G D. Yeah, he was one of the ones who still pushed B G D. Um wasn't nothing nice. I done seen Rockefeller perform a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But he with that iron, you know what I'm saying? He he played with them knives. And um, like I say, a killer in his own right. Uh, had a voice, man had a voice, sang like a boy, he could sing good. Different lockups, you know, around the around the state prison system that we had been in together. Um, homies would all well homies, but people that was back there in lockup would pay him cigarettes, candy bars, whatever, just to sing. You you give him the song if he knew it. Man, they get on the door, boy, look at we boy, we back there in lock up. Man, hey, Rock, hey, Rock, hey, woo, woo, woo. And he get out. He can sing. He can blow, man. He can blow. And, um, was a good, in, in, in his own right, was all around pretty much good dude. You know what I'm saying? Rockefeller really didn't bother nobody. He really didn't do nothing. But now he done got strung out on these drugs. You know what I'm saying? The drugs done got a hold to him, and he got a habit. So now what had happened was, Rockefeller then went and bought money from Tyson. And um, so he can go buy drugs. So now how how much it was, I can't recall. Um, but now I guess it was a substantial amount. Anyway, Rockefeller was not paying it back in a timely fashion. And Tyson was, you know, getting upset about that. So um eventually it 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 boiled over into where Tyson confronted him. Um, I wish he would have ran it across me first. I wish he would have came to me first and got at me about it. Um, I probably could have made the whole situation go a different route. But, you know, you know, Tyson, he his own man, big dude. You know, he his own man. He killed his own snakes. And so that's what had proceeded to take place this day. Um... Tyson had went over there and fronted Rockefeller in the cell, in his own, and went into Rockefeller's cell and fronted him and uh, said some things that if I would have known from the beginning that he was going to say, I would have stopped him in his tracks. No, homie, you might not want to say this, this, and this to cuz. He ain't one of them. But I didn't, it didn't come across my desk in time. So it went how it went. So anyway, 
the homie Tyson knock on the door. He come. He like, yeah, cuz I just, uh, then I just check. I just fronted that fool Rockefeller. So when I hear the name, like I say, I'm like, I'm like, uh, cuz what you, what you say to rock? Man, you know, the fool owe me some money, homie. You know, uh, he done borrowed my money cuz he been on me too long. I keep checking him about it. I, I keep getting at him about it. And, um, you know, he telling me he gonna get me, he gonna get me because he don't seem to me like he making no effort to give me my ends. Homie, I got tired of waiting on that cuz I just went in that fool's cell and told him cuz he need to get my money. He need to have my money by such and such and such and such. If not, blase, skippy, skippy, blase. What? <laughs> A do tell. Cuz, you said what to him? Cuz, I let him know, homie, he need to have my money by such and such and such, cuz, I'm going to put these hands on him. Cuz, you told Rockefeller that? That's right, homie, I just did it, cuz, I'm just coming here to let you know. I say, homie, you got a knife? He like, no, I ain't got no knife, cuz, for what? I say, cuz, you ain't got no knife? You, got, you ain't got no knife on you right now. You ain't got nothing on you. He like, no, nah, what's up? I'm like, cub, man, go get you a knife, fool. He like, for what? I said, cub, if you said that to Rockefeller, I say, homie, you need to be having you some iron on you, cub. Ain't finna be no fighting with this fool, cub. No, not at all. Go get your iron, homie. Go get that, cub. I'm telling you, you can't talk. He ain't one of them. You can't tell him nothing like that and think he's just gonna go. No, cuz, y'all at war and he gonna come. Cause that fool ain't gonna do nothing. Cause that old smoked out fool. Cause I whoop. I, no, homie. No, no. Uh, uh. No, no. If it was gonna be like that, cause I tell you, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, but it ain't fit to be like that. I said, cause you want me to go over here and holler at this fool, talk to him real quick. Cause no, cause you ain't gotta say nothing to him. You gotta say no. Cause I said what I said. I meant what I said. Cause that fool get crazy with me. Cause I'm gonna break his jaw. Well, all right. I say, cuz, from me to you. I say, homie, go get your knife. I say, matter of fact, hold on. I leaned back. I had a pillow sitting on my bed. My heat stay on point, stay on deck. Mine right there on, on the bed up under the pillow. You know, I can reach and get it at any given time. I knock the pillow back, boom. I say, cuz, you want mine? I say, cuz, here, take mine. Tyson wasn't no iron slinger. He was, he was a fist thrower. <sighs> I say, cuz, take this one. He be like, no, nah, homie, cuz, I'm straight. I don't need no heat, cuz. I, I don't need it. That fool ain't finna do nothing, cuz. That fool just need to get my money. I'm like, all right, cuz. All right, homie. I'm like, all right. He like, cuz, I'm going, cuz. I'm going back on the other side, cuz. I'm going back over there. I'm like, all right, homie. I said, they finna call, uh, they finna call. They finna call Chow in a minute anyway, homie. I'm. I'm gonna come over there, cause check on you in a minute. I'm, they finna call Chow. He like, all right, I'm gone, cause. So he shoot out the cell. He shoot down the stairs. He shoot across the day room floor, through the big doors onto the other side. Uh, within about 15 minutes, they call Chow. Chow call. Chow call. You know, you going to Chow? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, a side. You going to Chow? Chow call. So I'm like, shoot, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even like, I go to that child cuz I'm a child how dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go. I might not eat everything on the tray, but I'm a child how dog. Plus, I, you know, I like to get out up and down that hallway and see who is who and what is what and check out the lay of the land. And I'm really gonna go today because I wanna go across the hallway and check on the homie anyway. So anyway, boom, I get myself together. I come on out, I go downstairs, boom, across the day room floor. Uh, both the big doors are open. So I shoot straight across the, the, the hall onto the other side. So now when I when I when, as soon as I get past the hot water pot, I'm heading toward the back stairs, I hear something go boom. Now, what that is is somebody coming out of a cell real fast. They're slamming the door open. And you, you hear that all the time. When dudes slam them doors all the way open or somebody busting out themselves, coming out themselves, you hear that a lot. So that's what that was. I heard the door slam back, bang, boom, hit the wall. So I look on this side of the shower, Tyson coming down the tier, 
Boy, I'm talking, he wide open. Yeah. Tyson flying down the tier, y'all. He coming. So I'm like, dang, cuz. Right behind him is Rockefeller with something that looked like uh, he played in Highlander with. Man, look. Now, with, at the top of the stairs, you got like about 18 stairs that come down Separate the bottom tier from the top tier. Look, when the homie Tyson, he touched the first stair. Boo, he jumped. Shoo. He didn't touch another stair on that staircase. When he landed, he was at the bottom of the goddamn stairs and was gone. His knees buckled a little bit, but he, he picked him up and started putting him down. Rockefeller hit the first stair. Boom. And his feet didn't touch near another stair until he hit the floor. And he doing it, he doing it with a goddamn Jinsu knife in his hand. Only thing was missing was the he wasn't making no noise. I could have sworn he had a tongue that long hanging out his head, flying it back. Ah, he was coming. Tyson flew, man, the homie flew past me. He didn't stop. He didn't look. Didn't, man, listen, I might as well not even been standing there. The man flew past me so goddamn quick, and he hooked the wall that where the door is to, to go out into the main hallway to go down to the child hall or just get out on the main hall, the man hooked the wall with his hand and 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 and, and hit the corner. You like you heard. Yeah. <laughs> man, look, Rockefeller right behind him hit the wall too. He ain't grabbed no hook. The fool turned the wall. He turned the wall like a mongoose. Yeah. Man, listen, man. Rockefeller was moving 90 miles an hour trying to get the homie. He was moving 90 miles an hour. But the only thing was, boy, the homie was moving 91. <laughs> so he was moving at 91. That one mile was making a big difference. Man, they hit that man. Look here. I took off. Oh, hey. You know what I'm saying? I took off behind him. Now, the police in the queue, they looking. They done hit the code, but now they going out in the hallway. It's for the hallway police to deal with now. Man, the homie Tyson shot down that goddamn hole. Wow. Straight to the shift office. Rockefeller right behind him with that heat. And I'm way back. I'm you, I'm looky looing, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm looky looing. I told this man, man, I told this man that this boy here was not one of them. He's not one of them. He ain't he ain't wrapped tight. I told him. Hard head, make a salt behind, y'all. Man, they shut down that goddamn hall. Man, the homie run up in the shift office where the sergeant lieutenants all and all the paperwork get done and all that. When he run up in the shift all with boom, man, Rockefeller will run up right behind him. Now, from the homie running in like that, that made the police grab Mason sticks and all that already. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. You know, he, man, I, I, I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad. He trying to get away. He trying to live, y'all. I ain't mad at him. He trying to live. He want to go home to see his folks. And if he would have let Rockefeller catch him, I don't know if uh, that was going to happen for him without some intervention from other folks. Now, I ain't going to lie. <clears throat> if he would have caught the homie right there, <clears throat> I'd have got in it. I, I would have got in it because you're, you're just not going to stab a crypt to the floor in front of me like that. But anyway, um, I couldn't even catch up with him. They was doing 91 and 90. I might have been doing 80, 75, you know. Cause they heading down there by them folks. Anyway, by the time Rockefeller hit the hit the uh, hit the shift off behind him, they already got the stuff. They put, hey, so he stopped it. Uh, my, 
Huh. But now he will still want to get the homie though. But they went to Mason. Because that boy, look here. They seen that Highlander sword that this boy got. They went to Mason. Get out. Get out. Boy, they hit him. They drenched him. Boy, they putting them sticks on him. Boop, boop, boop. I done stopped by the law library. I'm watching. I'm like Channel 6 News, y'all. I'm getting the whole thing in, plate by plate. So they get they get Rockefeller down. They cuff him up. They haul him off. They end up cuffing the homie up, you know, until they get to the bottom of it. They, they gone. They gone. You know what I'm saying? They ran in everybody off the hallway. Uh, clear the hallway. Clear the hallway now. Clear it. Clear it. Clear the hallway. I don't even want to eat no more. I don't even want to eat no more. You know, so I, I, you know what? I, I, got a, I got a cell full of food. I'm gone. I just had to see what we're going to get. So anyway, y'all, man, I end up going back to the block. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling people what happened. Come, man. Like, hey, man, look. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. So they like, dang, dang. You know, I'm, I'm letting other Crips know what happened. Uh, <laughs> Man, look. When you don't listen, <laughs> when you don't listen sometimes, it, 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 it turns out bad. It, it turns out real bad when you don't listen. Um, eventually, the homie came back. And I wasn't funny when it first happened. But now, eventually, when the homie came back, oh, man, look. Oh, Lord, look. <laughs> man, you talk about something. Like, man, I clowned. Man, look, I got my clown on. I, you fool. I told you that this man wasn't nothing to play with. I said, Cuz, homie, Cuz, look. You'd have been better off just going in the cell and just taking off stabbing him or just beating him up. Now, you know, so you'd have been better off doing that. But I say you'd been better off stabbing him because if you go in the cell and beat him up, when he come out, it would have been the same demo. I think, you know, but he now he listening. Now he got some understanding, you know, big homie cuz. Hey, you know, hey, man, hey, man, cuz that fool was trying. Hey, cuz that fool was trying. I said, yeah, he was trying to get you. I said, cuz, if you would have let him catch you, boy, you'd have seen a bad day. He said, cuz, I wasn't finna let that fool catch me, homie. <laughs> I talk, I, I say, cuz, I say, fool, that fool was doing 90 miles an hour. I say, cuz, but you was doing 91. <laughs> ooh, ooh, wait. <laughs> I say, cuz, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad. He, then he asked, he said, big homie, cuz, cuz, what you'd have did if you'd have been in the same position? I said, homie, I would have listened to what the, what the big homie was telling me. I say, but now, in the same position, I say, cuz, I would have just went on and got at him. I say, but now, if it would have happened the way it happened with you, um, cuz, I can't say, I can't say what I'd have did. I, I, I'd be lying if I sit there and say, I'd have fought him to a standstill and he got this big old ugly knife, uh, or I can't say I would have ran. I can't say what I would have do, cuz I tell people all the time, you don't know what you're going to do. Until it happens, you can sit here and woof and talk that talk about how tough you are or this, that, and the other or whatever. Or what you would have, I, I would have, oh, oh, I would have, oh, I, I would have. That's the that's the talky part. That's the easy part. What I would, you know, yeah. But you don't know until it happens. So I told him, I said, cuz, I don't know what I'd have did, homie. I said, shoot. I said, now, if I would have, usually, you know, I done got it to a dude's had a knife and I didn't. If I got a sheet, a blanket, a big coat or something, cause I know how to I know how to defend myself with that against a knife. But if I'm butt naked and ain't had none, I told him I say, cuz I probably would have burnt that highway up too, though. I said, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't let me sit there and play Superman, cuz I probably would have burnt that highway up too. You know, but anyway, that's how that happened, man. Um That's how that happened, man. I just, you know, hey. Another one of them stories in prison, man. That happens, man. Anyway, man, y'all hit that like button, man, for me, please. Hit that subscribe, man. Hit that share. Put it on Facebook for me if you want to or if you can. And um, y'all keep on listening to your big partner, man. You know, I'm <laughs> Cartoon One from Eastside Avalon, homie. Gangsters, the village storyteller. I'm out.